Hey everybody, it's Josh here from Dark Horse Tackle, and if you're seeing me here in the Dark Horse Tackle dungeon, also known as my basement, that means that you got a Weekend Warrior Box or a Dabble Pack from us. This is our exclusive YouTube videos, our exclusive YouTube channel, giving you tips and some insight on the baits that came in your box or Dabble Pack. So let's get it started. First up, we have the Jaboom Airman. This is a brand new Ned Rig style bait coming to you in 2023. This bait is about three to three and a half inches, and it's going to be a great trailer, very finessey trailer, but also just a great Ned Rig drop shot. There's a lot of versatility to it, and just look at the little Airman go. The wacky, waving, inflatable arms tube guy in bait form. It's going to be a great finesse presentation with the traditional Jaboom ribs in the bait itself, coming in their awesome June bug pattern. Got a few more colors with this bait as well, but this is one of my favorite baits coming out in 2023. And in the comments, I want you guys to let us know how you're going to fish it once you get your Weekend Warrior Box or Dabble Pack. Next up, we have the ever popular Jaw Tech French Fry. This comes in multiple colors. I've got one of my personal favorites right now. This is the motor oil color. It's brand new from Jaw Tech right now. Colt put a lot of work into this bait. It's a beautiful color. It's kind of color changing. It looks really cool in the sun, but it offers a dark presentation when it's cloudy. And another thing about Jaw Tech is if you can't see it, you can definitely smell it. These things are loaded with garlic scent. They smell fantastic. This little French fry is gonna be another amazing Ned Rig finesse bait. I love throwing this bait on a small shaky head or an EWG Ned Rig. It's a fantastic presentation. Very, very good for finicky bass, but also very good just to power fish with or fish spawn beds with. Drop shotting is a great presentation on this bait. There's a ton of action. It's a very soft worm. It smells very good. And we've got a bunch of good colors for you guys. So let us know in the comments again how you would fish the Jaw Tech French Fry. Next up, we have the Jigmaster Screw Lock Ned Heads. These things are wonderful. Everything made by Jigmasters is one of my favorite things to ever exist, and it's solely because of that screw lock right there. Your baits aren't gonna get tore up as easily. You're not gonna have to be changing baits as much. Also, this Ned Rig is a perfect pairing for the Jaboom Airman and the Jaw Tech French Fry that you got in your box. So everybody knows how to use a Ned Rig. Everybody knows what Ned Rigs are used for. Some people are highly against the Ned Rig and the ultra finesse presentation. Some people only use Ned Rigs. The Ned Rig is one of the greatest skunk busters to ever exist, and I think adding the Jigmaster Screw Lock Ned Jig to your arsenal is only going to make it better because the baits aren't going to get tore up as much. Now, I want to know in the comments what your favorite Ned Rig bait is to throw, so let us know in the comments. All right, everybody, if you've made it this far, we are now at the second to last bait, and that is the Martins Nomadic Finesse Jig. Martins is one of my favorite companies that we have worked with there is nothing that martin's doesn't do that isn't custom designed by himself so you're not going to get a knockoff of a knockoff of a knockoff and i'm not knocking those people i'm just saying everything he does is unique so you take a look at this jig you've got a very nice head there's a lot of room right here it's kind of a hybrid flip in finesse swim jig style head you've got this very thin weed guard which means finesse light wire hook which means finesse which could also Holster pretty much any trailer you want. It's also got a wire keeper on it. Super duper thin silicone, which gives a great presentation in that water. It's really good in cold water too. And it flows really nicely. This jig would be an awesome swimming jig as well. And I know he makes his own swim jig, but I just love going against the rules and throwing whatever jig is a swim jig. So one of my favorite trailers to throw in these jigs is a Bitters Little Swimmer or a Zoom Super Chunk. And I just like hopping it. I just hop it, I flip it, do whatever I want. My favorite color is also black and blue. Let us know in the comments what your favorite jig color is and your favorite trailer to throw and your favorite time of the year to throw jigs. Next up, we have a very special guest presenting the last bait. He is the new co-owner of Dark Horse Tackle, so please give him a warm welcome. Have a good one, everybody. Hey, everyone. Zach from Dark Horse Tackle. It's nice to see all of you. Um, I'm here with the fifth and final bait of your January Weekend Warrior box. From Reka Outdoors, a father and son company out of Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, we've got this gorgeous lipless crankbait. This one happens to be in the heater craw pattern. Now, you could be looking 
at one of four patterns. A sexy shad, a ghost craw, or a really slick, crappy pattern that we had painted up for all of you. Regardless of which one of these you have, I want you to know you have a new deadly weapon in your bass fishing arsenal. This thing, it covers water like no other bait does. It casts like a bullet and the vibration that it produces will draw reaction strikes from bass in any season. This thing actually shines in cold water, believe it or not. Now, you can catch with this thing with the straight retrieve, for sure. But personally, I like to pump it. Those quick rises and falls, they always seem to be the ticket to get those strikes from bass, and not just any bass, but lipless crankbaits are notorious for catching really big freaking bass. Um, this is the first time I've gotten to do one of these videos. And uh, I just wanna say thank you. Um, I wanna thank each and every one of you for subscribing. Um, it's awesome that you guys support Dark Horse Tackle. Do us a favor. When you catch a really nice bass, or any bass, take a picture. And post it. Use the hashtag Dark Horse Tackle. Josh and I, we want to see what you guys are doing, man. That's why we do it. That's what makes us happy. We want to see you guys catching. So thank you. Thank you for subscribing. And thank you for being the best part of Dark Horse Tackle. Happy New Year, y'all.